Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today we're going to have some stamping and some collaging fun and in my journal I am going to make a faux postcard. How cute is that? So it's really easy. Uh, I've made this one as an example and I've got five more ready and good to go. We'll just pop this one back in. It's just some uh, stamp, stamping here and some stickers and an old bit of book page and there's journaling space on the back or you can stick it right in and make a pocket um, and a couple of stickers on the back just to match the mushroom theme on this one and it just pops right in there. Lovely. So, I'll set the journal aside and let's get started. I will show you the stamp that I have used. It's, let me get one of the postcards, one of my little bundles here. That's the stamp. It stamps out ooh, the postcard. It's Urban Stamps, Tall Urban Stamp and it's Postal Frame. I've had this a long time. Um, maybe if you do a search you can find one second hand or maybe a shop has still got some. Um, but it's really quite a handy size. And there I'm getting all ink already <laughs> from this stamp. So we'll just set the stamp aside because I've already stamped everything. I've already stamped the postcards. I stamped them on and it's nearly done. I've been using this for ages. It's 49 in market vintage and uh, artistry. And the backs are just kind of plain. And when you stamp and cut out, you get little bits of the pattern on the paper. I've just got some some pieces left. I'm starting to keep the little pieces because I don't want it to to be finished. So that's what I've stamped on. It's um it's really quite thick paper, the 49 and market paper. So you already get all that from the stamp. It's just a case of decorating. Um so I've got little bits and little bundles for each one. Um, and what I do with my collage is just play around a bit. I still want to see that it's postcard there. I still want to see that bit and I would quite like to still see this piece. But apart from that, I'm happy to cover up anything else. I'm going to maybe slide that under there because these washi tickets uh, stickers are quite see-through so you can put things underneath and you'll still see them but it's nice just to have something peeking out we'll put that on at the end and see how we go and this bird has been fussy cut from my favorite bird book for birds which is this one i'm sure i've shown you this before it's thor burns birds um i've already used quite a few but what happens is you get a whole panel and the birds are quite um, standalone. They do, you, you, you're able to cut out one bird and not have to cut through another bird's head or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's uh, a really good book if you ever come across it. I got mine in a, a charity shop, I think that one came from. Because the bird is facing, I'm just looking at this. Because the bird is facing that way, I don't want to put my collage on this side. For some reason, if it, it be in birds or people or anything at all that faces a certain way, I always like it to face in the way towards something. I don't know why. It just always seems the right thing to do. <laughs> and I think that will be it 
and that might just go up there and we'll stamp i've got this stamp of script i don't know i think it was free from a magazine because it just it just kicks about the crafty room it doesn't have a a plastic home <laughs> okay let's get this stuck down i'm just going to use my glue stick Whoops, no, that went flying there. Whoop. It's got a life of its own. So the first piece I'm going to put down is just this scrap piece of script, just as a, a little background. Then these are two things, are stickers. So let's see if we can get the sticker to work. If not, I'm going to, oh, there it's there. A little bit of patience. Let's just hold that, yeah, round about there. We'll do fine. So it's absolutely blowing a hooli here, a gale. We're expecting a storm. I think during the night and then into tomorrow is Storm Dudley. And I like to give them names, I think. Oh, that's cute. And then on Friday, so that first storm is just wind and rain. And then on Friday, it's Storm Eunice that's due. And that's going to bring quite a lot of snow. Hmm. I should maybe have stamped my script. I'm not going to gl uh, glue. I'm not going to ink up all of the script. Just a little bit. Let me just. Yeah, excellent. Because I don't want it to be totally covering. And that just ends quite nicely, actually. Now, will we put that there? Or will we put it there? I think up there, actually. So, yes, yeah, so Friday, when you look at the BBC weather app on the phone or whatever, it's double snowdrops pretty much all day. Okay, so the other one that I made, uh, I took it to the sewing machine and I stitched round. So I'll do that for them all once I've got them all stuck down. So we'll just leave that one to the side there and we'll do the next one. So they're all just kind of much the same. Just differences of the, the type of sticker and the type of bird that I'll fussy cut. Birds, mushrooms and butterflies. I think that seems to be the the main themes of things when it comes to collages and whatnot. So again I'm just going to see here about there. And then, oh, doing the same again. Let's see. Let's get the the print done, the stamp. So I want it to be on that side. So I'm just I'm just using the edge of my stamp pad so that I'm only getting that little middle section inked up. Perfect. Oh, I think the script's upside down, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll see, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> whoever can get, whoever. <laughs> if the postcard has been written by someone and they've just decided to write it upside down. <laughs> I 
take these um, clear backings off and just toss them aside at the side of the desk here and then you don't see them when you're doing your tidy up. Now does that bird face down the way? I think it does the way that the way that its little feet are going. Yep, let's get it face down the way. Yeah, you end up finding those clear backings everywhere. <laughs> It's like when I used to just make cards and you know the little foam squares, the little foam pads, the little tiny white pieces that come off them. <laughs> I was amazed at where you could find them. It's like how did that foam little square white bit of paper, how did it manage to get there? These are pretty. I'm liking these. Okay, let's do one more. In fact, I've got three more. So this time let's do it properly and let's do the writing. <sighs> Try and do it the right way up. Mm -hmm. I'll just set that on there. Got my little bit of scrap paper. Even although you barely see it, it's enough just to give you just a little bit of background. If it just peeks through a wee bit, I'm happy. This is a bigger bird. I'll just pop that. Move this one over a little bit. We can trim off any bits that overlap because I want to see postcard. So let's try that up there this time. Mm hmm. Yes, that works. It's best to play around, I think, with where things would go before you stick anything down. Try things on the top and build it up in a little cluster. I think is always the best way to go. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that wind outside. Oh my goodness. There'll be trampolines and wheelie bins rolling down the street. And they were talking about the trains going off. And of course the bridges will be closed. The big bridges. I'll just trim those little bits off. They close the... Um, the Erskine Bridge, which is the bridge over the Forth of Clyde, down near Helensborough, on the way down there. And they'll close, they'll definitely close the Edinburgh Bridges, because they always seem to be getting closed. And I'm thinking the ferries will probably be off as well. All the ferries to the islands. Yes, I like that one with the big bird. That's nice. I think we might put a sticker on the back of these as well. Did I put one? Not yet. We'll do the back stickers. Right, I've got one bird one left. And then I've got a 
mushroom one. Now I've got two flowers on this. Why have I put two flowers on that? I think one's for the back. Oh, let, right, okay, you see, you didn't stop me there. Let's get the stamping done. It's like a little production line. That way round. Okay, what were we going to put down first? A little piece of book page. not another little square sticker on this one because I think I thought the butterfly being on the on the background then that's probably enough don't need another sticker sure that's the wind started. I can hear something rattling outside. I don't know if it's a little bird feeder or a bit of the fence or something. I don't know. to be stamping the script on this one because this one's got quite a lot of pieces so if we put that there I'm going to put the actual stamp where the stamp should be this time I think we will do some script it'll still peek through been watching the Olympics, the Winter Olympics. The UK's not doing so well. I don't think we've got any medals yet, but you know, the Scots will come good with the curling. <laughs> That's for sure. We'll get some medals for the UK. Well, fingers crossed anyway. I don't know when they play next. And there. Yeah. So curling started here. I think because the lochs froze over and it was something to do. And the stones are all made from granite. Scottish granite. So I believe anyway. 
should have googled that before I start talking about it but that's that's what I've always thought it was I think I'll need to be going on a little spending spree and buying some more mushroom stickers and more of these washi stickers they're great I love the way that it just you don't see that it's a sticker really it just merges into the the page or the piece that you're doing I wonder who was writing nobody writes postcards really these days don't they not if you go on your holidays you send somebody a text we've arrived we're here and then nothing for a week. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? I like that one. Right, so let's put something on the back. What will we put on the back of this one? looks like beetroots. <laughs> what colour's the back? Pale pink. That doesn't really go with mushroom, doesn't it not? I don't think I'll put anything on the back of the mushroom one. And I think what we'll do is we'll put leafy ones on the back because I still want to leave space for journaling or doing whatever you do on the back of these cards. Little notes or that just finishes it off and it'll get a little bit of stitch round. So let's see what I'm saying I need to order more stickers. Look how many I've got. Here's a nice one. How many do I need? One, two, three. There. Those three will do. Sometimes you're lucky getting a start on the, the backing coming off and sometimes it takes a wee minute. Gonna have to trim that one off. That. And these two. Yeah. Make sure they're the right way up. Won't be the first time that I've stuck a sticker down upside down. <laughs> adds a little bit of something to the back doesn't it this is quite a big one we've got another little one i don't want to use up all the space that's a wee bit straight up and down isn't it get something a wee bit more a wee bit more bendy These are all quite big. Here's a little, here's a little one. I'm looking forward to my tea tonight. We're having ravioli and garlic bread and a wee glass of wine. I know, for a Wednesday night, how decadent. <laughs> we call it our tea here, but I guess it, for a lot of people it's dinner. We call it tea. <laughs> so there's your breakfast, your lunch and your tea. <laughs> I know, not to be confused with afternoon tea, which is a whole other thing. <laughs> right, so all it needs now is a wee stitch round. And um, 
I'll go and do that. Okay, stitched round. Not um, all that great. I don't know what was wrong. The thread kept doing a weird thing. Piling up. I don't know. <laughs> Most of them are alright. Um, but I do like the way that uh, the stitching just... Look. Do you, does anybody know what, what makes it do that? These ones are fine. Okay. <laughs> well, we won't worry about it. What do you think? I'm liking them. I think they're really nice. So if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.